of the University of Ghana are considering reviewing arrangement for holding inter-school competitions following Monday's clashes between KNUST's Katanga Hall students and Mensa Saba Hall students on one uh, side, a student of Commonwealth Hall ahead of an intellectual debate. One person was injured in the process. Heavy security deployment to the university is what they've been doing to, uh, was what they did actually to prevent reprisals. But then it failed to yield the result as an overnight attack left glasses, uh, glass doors of the reading room of Mensa Saba Hall Annex A destroyed after some masked persons stormed the place. SRC President of the University of Ghana, Daniel Oteng Ewa, tell tells Joy News the university is reviewing the arrangement. A dean of students, I mean, after a meeting, would have to agree that whether any students from the University of Ghana is going in out or is coming in, we have to demand the student ID numbers of whoever is coming, just to authenticate that the person, first of all, has the permit or authorization from his institution, his or her institution, to come to the University of Ghana, or we have authorization from our institution to go to other campuses. But yesterday, what happened, the, the coming of the, uh, the students, of the, res uh, the residents of Katanga Hall, was was by authorization. Registrar was aware we were having such a debate. The dean of students was duly informed that we were having such a debate. So it was a legal thing that was happening. What was not supposed to have happened was the unfortunate circumstance of uh, a letter wire on campus. That is what we regret so much. And we think it is very unfortunate that it happened on our campus. Very, very unfortunate. There's been times where we even involve national security. Because sometimes even military in disguise. But then uh, it depends on the kind of program that we are having. But since we realized it was a student thing, and uh, we're just going to foster intellectual debate and intellectual supremacy. We only involve the university security. That's how come when they, they were around, that's how come immediately they realized that the issue would go about them. They called this, uh, the police to come in. It's, it's legal, but it depends on when that uh, event is happening. Initially, we were thinking of shifting some of these debates, some of the group stages, to when school is on vacation, so that we would have enough rooms to accommodate them in our halls on campus. But later on, we realized that if school goes on vacation, some of the students who might be debating might probably come from other cities uh, across the country. So we, we had to do it whilst they are all in school. And when that happens, it means the University of Ghana cannot accommodate uh, the students who come from outside the various halls because the university rules itself frowns on pension. So the agreement was that uh, the program was structured in a way that the students who come from other universities wouldn't have to stay uh, or sleep overnight. But then if you think after that you don't want to go, then we look for guest centers because we have the University of Ghana guest center, which we are willing to go and make accommodation preparations for those students who might want to stay. But what happened was that, you see, uh, the University Hall of KNUST Katanga has affiliation to our main Saba Hall. So when they came, uh, because of the brotherhood, they had to go and then do uh, their own thing. Now, I understand they were charging, and then something happened. They also had the info that a Commonwealth person has slapped a student from Katanga Hall. So they also decided, if that's the case, then they are going to capture uh, any person they see wearing a Commonwealth uh, paraphernalia, then also retaliate the incident. That was, according to some aside, that's what happened. According to some other side, it also says that the Mensa Saba boys and then the Katanga boys just saw a Commonwealth person wearing uh, Commonwealth Lacos and decided to retaliate what happened some months ago when Mr. Saba was having their whole week. So there are a lot of rumors going around, different perspectives as relating to the story. The police is involved and we are waiting for the police investigation before we can actually pinpoint fingers as to who started what, who did what, who retaliated and then all that uh, came. Uh, as the SRC president of the University of Ghana. Well, school authorities say they are awaiting full uh, police report on the clashes to take sanctions against the students who will be found to have contributed to that unfortunate incident. Stella Amwa is head of public affairs. The police is currently carrying out the investigation. The police will not give you any interim report. If they will, it will be submitted formally and I am not aware of any formal report received from the police. Perhaps there could be some discussions but I am yet to meet the police to ascertain where they are with any investigations even if it is interim. Now this incident took place yesterday. We have a Dean of Student Affairs primarily so I will be uh, I defer to the Dean of Student Affairs in this matter to be able to compile such reports from the various from the various uh, halls of residents that were affected 
acts of violations will be dealt with. And we have a disciplinary committee. We also have uh, our statutory boards and committees that deal with such disciplinary matters. And uh, no student who uh, falls foul of these uh, uh, offenses will be left. Yes. The report I received from the hospital is that a student reported, and that is the one student who had this uh, hair cut, but this student, uh, it was obvious that the student uh, had not sustained physical or injuries that were visible apart from the haircut, and the student was uh, received medical attention and was discharged. So I have spoken to the university hospital authorities, and uh, they confirmed that there were no visible injuries on the student. Uh, the university will condemn uh, such uh, an act, or these acts that uh, resulted in these uh, uh, clashes. This intellectual discourse that was meant to rather uh, deepen the uh, academic, uh, academic power rather has resulted in this. I do not think that we should be discouraged. Call it an academic relationship gone, sir. More in our subsequent bulletins.